oh, hey there, YouTube. It's five in the morning and I'm about to go see Star Wars The Last Jedi because I'm insane. But expect a full and comprehensive review in this video. I'm getting my Casey Neistat on. I'm going to go inside. It was awesome. And that concludes the full and comprehensive review of Star Wars The Last Jedi. And that concludes the Casey Neistat portion of this vlog. So what I'm up to today is I have to go pick up my new laptop from my new job and there is like this work kind of party where people are supposed to exchange cookies and last night I attempted to make cookies, subsequently burnt myself, and subsequently after that kind of ruined the cookies. So I also need to stop at the store and pick up cookies that are more edible than what I made and yeah, then pick up my laptop. And I also have a message to share with you guys about how you learn web development and why you should tune out some of the more BS things that are said on the internet about how you learn web development. And you may be asking yourself, hey Aaron, why do you suck at baking so much? And while that is true, I am a terrible baker of things. Fun fact, the cookies I was trying to make were no-bake cookies. So yeah, I even messed those up. Not saying that they're easier, I don't know. It was my mother's recipe who makes the best no-bakes in the world. You can fight me on that if you want to, but I still found a way to mess it up because I didn't follow instructions very well, which is not great. So I've got about a half hour before I head out now and I'm going to go down to the office to print out some information for work and then I'm just going to chill until I have to leave, but I'm gonna take you guys with me. So I hope you're ready for that. What am I doing with my hands? This isn't weird. Okay, it's very weird. Leo just hopped on the table too. So the camera's shaky, my hand movements are awkward. Typical Aaron and Beta vlog. Boom. Okay, so it's now time to change to go to this cookie party because I don't wanna show up in a plain black covered in Leo hair hoodie. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. I told you it'd be quick. Let's go. So it's now Saturday and I recorded the first part of that video on Friday, obviously, but I started to not feel well when I was in the office of my new job and it kind of just got worse as I went home. And so I like took a nap, which is not something that I normally do and just didn't feel great for the rest of the night. So I ended up not finishing this video until now, Saturday. So here goes nothing. And I wanted to make this video because of something that I saw on Twitter with somebody replying to someone else's tweet about learning how to code and them kind of not being a great person in their reply, which is, you know, par for the course on parts of Twitter. Regardless of how you get into this field, how you get into development, how you get into tech, how you get into anything, there are going to be people who are going to look down on the way that you got there. I'm a bootcamp grad and a lot of people look down on bootcamp grads and you may be a self-taught developer and a lot of people look down on self-taught developers. You may have went to a four-year school and people look down on people who go to four-year schools and you may have got your master's and people look down on people who got their master's. Like, it doesn't matter. There's going to be a subsect of the population that's going to think that either you did too much, you did too little, or whatever it is. Can you learn on your own and get a job as a developer right now? Yes. Can you go to a boot camp and get a job as a developer right now? Yes. Can you go to a two year college and get an associate's degree in development and get a job as a developer? Yes. Can you go to a four year college? Yes. And you can get a job after that? Yes. So getting employed doesn't matter how whatever path you take. However you learn best is how you learn best and you should follow that path. Just because you've learned a certain kind of way, you've taught yourself or you've taken courses online or you went to a boot camp or you went to a university, none of those things are directly hinged on your skills. It doesn't matter. There are people who graduate from university who aren't as skillful as people who are self-taught. There are people who are self-taught who aren't as good as people who went to a boot camp. And there's people who go to a boot camp who aren't as good as people who go to a two-year college. Like it, it's an individual thing. It doesn't make any difference how you learned. What makes a difference is how well you learned it. And don't take anybody's word for you're not good enough because of how you decided to get into this because it's not real and everybody on Twitter has an opinion about it and if they aren't saying it doesn't matter then in my opinion 
they're wrong. So that's my rant for the day, and I hope you guys enjoyed it or got some value out of it. If you disagree with me, feel free to leave a comment below, or if you agree with me, leave a comment below. If you like what I'm doing here, hit that like button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you haven't already and want to follow along in the journey, the subscribe button's down there too. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.